you know, in our hometown, we conduct a monthly fasting prayer. Where many, those who pray for our ministry, the partners of our ministry, gather once a month to fast and pray for the ministry. So we gather at 10 in the morning and the meeting lasts us to about 3, 4, 5 in the afternoon. And you know when parents come, they don't come alone, they bring their children along. And in uh, meetings for adults, what do the children do? They just roam around like cats, dogs, sheep and goats. I'm sorry to say that, but that's exactly what happens. In every meeting, children are always neglected. Always neglected. They just roam around from one end of the corridor to another end of the corridor. And this happened in our meeting. So one day, I was in this meeting and there were barricades that were before this public and the stage. And these barricades had pole, iron poles at every intervals. And I was seated by uh, the area where ministers are seated while the worship was going on waiting to go and preach. And one little boy, he came close to the barricade and he just stared at me and then he tried to put his head in between the barricade and stuck his head through the barricade so that he can have a closer look at me. And I, I was so fearful for his head getting stuck between the two bars. But thank God, the boy's head was smaller, so he just, like a tortoise, you know, he put his head in and then he took it out. Now after, after him, after that incident, I was just praying and the glory of God came down in the tent and a mighty angel appeared before me and he had a scroll in his hand and he started reading. The time has now come for Psalms 8 to be fulfilled. God is commanding you this day to begin a meeting for the children. And he read through giving me a mandate from heaven. And then I called my staff who have a calling for children's ministry. I said, we are going to simultaneously have a children's service, fasting service meeting while the adults are having their meeting. So this, uh, my staff, they came and protested to me. No, the little children do not know how to fast. They are not used to fasting. We have to feed them three meals or more meals. I said, no, we are not going to do that. I am going to teach them how to fast. If any parent protests, let them take their kid out and not bring their kids to a meeting. So for how many hours are they going to fast, they asked me. From 10 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon. They will die. I said, good, bring them to me. I will raise them to death. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. This is exactly what I told my staffs. So the following month, we booked another hall and there were 300 children from five years old up to 12 years old. And they were all gathered. And you know, the Lord Jesus always looked at his disciples and he said, Oh, ye of little faith. Right? You know what my staff did? For fear that these children will die of starvation. Without informing me, they used their own pocket money and they bought packets of water and um, strong health drinks. Just kept them hidden in one corner, like all those water bottles in that corner. Just in case. Just in case if any child fainted. Just in case if any child is on the verge of dying. So when the meeting ended, so I, I called the chief of the children's minister. I asked the girl, so my dear daughter, how did the meeting went? How many children cried for hunger? Her eyes was wild as an owl. And she told me, not a single child 
cried for hunger. From the beginning of the meeting till the last amen was said, not a single child even asked for a drop of water to drink. So we taught our little children how to fast and pray. So now we have been doing this for eight years. Those little children have all grown. They are all grown to be teenagers. And now I don't even need to tell them to fast and pray. They fast the whole year because they have been trained. This is what we should do. Train our little children. You know, take away the notion from our minds that they do not know how to fast. Of course they don't know. We teach them. Fasting means no food. No milk for the baby. No food, no nothing. No one will die. Believe me. We must teach and prepare them. Prepare them to obey the standards of God. Because the days are coming where you cannot buy or sell without the mark of the beast. What are you going to do then? 